This is Arvind Vora, founder of Vora Method and author of The Equation for Excellence, How to Make Your Child Excel at Math. In this video, I'm going to talk about the most effective strategies for reading if you're trying to get above a 750 on the reading section or above a 1500 on the entire SAT. I started Vora Method in 2001. At the time, it was called Arvind Vora Education. And in those days, in those early days, if a student got a 1400, that would be a victory. I would be happy, they would be happy, parents would be happy, everyone would be happy. Today, obviously, our standards are a lot higher. Today, a 1500 is our minimum expectation, a 1600 is a win, and a 1400 is falling very far short of our goal. So, as our standards have gotten higher, as, as what we're able to help students achieve has gotten much better, our methods have also changed. When I first started uh, what was at the time called Arvin Vora Tutoring, I taught reading differently how, from how we teach it now. But it probably might be similar to what, you, what you're doing right now or what you've heard other people say to do or, or uh, what other teachers, other classes have even told you to do. And, and these are the techniques that work if you're trying to get, if your ultimate target goal is a 1400. And this is what I used to teach was that basically you would break up the passage like a jigsaw puzzle. So this first question is about lines one through nine. So you'd read from the beginning till a little bit after line nine, answer the first question. Uh, the next question about line 10, you'd read from line wherever you left off to a bit after line 10, answer that question. This is a general question, we'd leave it to later. And then the next question we would you know, read whatever portion we needed to of the, of the passage in order to answer the given questions one at a time. That method does not work if you're trying to get a perfect score on the SAT. If you're trying to get above 1500, that method doesn't work. That's not the method that I used to get perfect scores on the GRE and on the GMAT. What I did for those tests and what many students have done since then on the SAT is surprisingly simple. If you want to get above a 1500 on the SAT or above a 750 on the SAT reading uh, verbal section, here's what you need to do. You read the entire passage first. You read it thoroughly. You make sure you understand every single sentence. You make sure you know the subtle points that the author is trying to make. Make sure you understand what the author is trying to persuade you of in this passage. And then after that, after you really understand that, after it's really just a part of your understanding of the world, then you go through the questions without referring back to the passage at all, except for in specific cases where it says, where, where the only way to answer it would be to refer to a specific word or sentence in the passage. Aside from that, when it comes to big questions about the author's motivation, techniques, manipulation, subtleties, whatever, you answer that directly without looking back. Now, right now, you probably can't do that at all. That's fine. You're not supposed to be able to do it right now. That's what you're building up toward. And it's going to take you months, uh, maybe even longer than that. But that's the skill you need to build towards. It's not going to be a thing where you look at a sentence and forget it or whatever. No, no, no. You're going to learn this passage. You're going to not just read it. I mean, you're going to learn and understand the nuances of this passage, of, of any passage you do before you look at the questions. It's what I did to get perfect scores on the GRE and on the GMAT, what many students have done to get perfect and near perfect scores on the SAT. If you want to dominate the SAT reading, take your time, read the passage, and do the questions. Don't, the worst thing you can do is to skim the whole passage, look at a question, skim the passage again, look at a question, skim the passage again, look at another question. That is the nonsensical approach. There's a saying that a thousand fools does not make a wise man. That's true. And guess what? R skimming a passage a thousand times is not as good as thoroughly and properly reading it one time. You should read the passage once and then do all the questions, referring back only if it's referring to a very specific line number that you need to look at something in that exact line, some specific word or something. Aside from that, you should just be reading the passage one time thoroughly, answering the questions without needing to refer back to what the, que the passage was about or anything like that. 